Hello everyone, this is Monster Blue Buff coming at you with a new Let's Play. <clears throat> this time we're going to be trying out the Abomination demo that you can get now on Steam. This one game I've been really excited for and really looking forward to, so I'm happy to hop into it. I have never played it before now, I just got on here to adjust some settings. I hope the sound is alright. I've checked it and tweaked it a lot, so you guys can let me know if uh, I need to turn it up or down. Let's see what each of these do. Casual mode with Hermadeth on might be the best practice on if you're having trouble with the regular experience. Normal mode with Hermadeth on is the way it's meant to be enjoyed. Brutal mode is the most veteran players. Alright, well, we'll do normal mode. I like to do games where they literally say this is how the game is meant to be played. Most of the time, I like to do that. Certain games I'll uh, just automatically go into hard mode, but most of the time those are games like, you know, um, action RPGs and stuff like that. I'm actually pretty decent at compared to most most of the time games I'm still not super great at, so let's start with normal. Well, I already say I'm a fan of the music. <clears throat> let's watch the scene. <clears throat> Somewhere far away exists a mysterious island known as Abomination. This island has taken many shapes through its existence, but it will always remain distinguishable for one reason. Abomination is home to creatures of fantastic strength known as Abomies. Every Abomi is capable of unleashing devastatingly powerful attacks. The land was once rampant with lethal battles and never-ending carnage. Since that time, Abomis have evolved. They've become more civilized. Attacks and battles are now only used in the most extreme circumstances. The fear of death is no longer what drives an Abomi to strengthen itself, but rather the thrill of adventure and discovery. Some Abomis, though, yearn for the days of old, the days of brutal fighting. Legends say that every 100 years, the spirits that watch over Abomination are reborn. One. Spirit of light, the other one of darkness. The battle that these spirits have each century is said to dictate the fate of the island. They pit abomies against each other to defeat the other's army. The tranquility of the last several generations is supposedly owed to the light spirit's efforts. Though these are just legends, three young Abomis have ventured into the wilderness of Abomination in search of the Light Spirit statue. Perhaps their offering will bring her good luck in the next century's battle against darkness. I want to make sure we're going the right way here. Quit whining. The Kondaling we met told me that the statue was this way. The area is uncharted. Respectable bombings don't come out this way, which makes me think the statue doesn't exist. I want it to exist so bad, I hate to waste our time. If we actually care about the fate of abomination, we'll keep trying to help the light spirit no matter how long it takes. I care, I'm just tired of traveling without ever knowing where we're going. That's called adventuring. I know that, but you'd think that the light spirit would appreciate all our effort. Well, our only, well, only warriors chosen by Light Spirit can actually fight alongside her. If we want to help, we just have to offer what we can. You're right, I suppose. We should power through. Wait, what's that to the north? Do, 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 do. What is that thing? It looks like an embalmy soul. My soul, I've never seen anything die before of you. <clears throat> I'm afraid about this. When you die, your soul gets released into the air. It's supposed to put you at peace. Yeah, and I think that's what this thing is. It must be some kind of tribute to the light spirit for all the souls that saved from darkness. Maybe it's for the souls that were lost under the dark spirit's reign. Well, hold on, I gotta put my timer on. I was so excited to get this started, I completely forgot to put the timer on. <clears throat> Do you think we should leave our offering here? How do we know it's related to the light spirit? How many other statues cost me around here? It has to be the one, right? I think the Light Spirit will appreciate the gesture. I don't think it matters if it's the right statue. <clears throat> but what if it does? Help. You guys have to help me. What the? 
What kind of bombing are you? Please, I'm not an bombing. My name is Atoli. I hope I pronounced that right. I, th I think I might be the light spirit. <clears throat> what? How can you be sure? I just woke up 30 minutes ago and I can't remember anything, but I just had this feeling like an instinct. Also, I seem to have all the pre-existing knowledge about the battles between light and darkness. Also, some creep is chasing me and shot and killed the light spirit. Should have led with that one, probably. Well, light spirit or not, we should help her out. Wait, not all of you. This thing is made of pure evil. If I'm a light spirit, you'll need some of my light to defeat the darkness. It only shines in certain abominies. How my instincts are telling me that it shines on one of you. No way, one of us is seriously the defender of light? Whoa. One of you has a pure heart and a need to do good. You've been touched by the light and worthy of fighting protects the light spirit. That abomin is. Oh, so now we gotta pick our starter. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the starter is like always randomized. Hmm. Oh no, it's too hard to pick. I do love me some fire types. Um. Ah, uh, I do like the mountains design though. I think we'll take. Oh no. Apoletti, I guess I pronounced that right. Um, just a heads up in case you're still new. I am dyslexic and I do struggle with reading certain words sometimes, so please forgive me ahead of time for the horrible mispronunciation that's going to be happening throughout the video. But yeah, we're going to go with the little mountain boy. You, the Alpolite. Yes, I knew it. I've never been in a fight before, though. But you want to do it. You want to help defeat the Dark Spirit? Of course. Then we'll see if my feeling was right. What is it you're asking of me? I cannot harden the bomb me, but they can hurt me. I need you to protect me from those who want to plunge the island in the darkness. <clears throat> I know the light spirit. Don't make me take it from you. Ah, there they are. The peppermint? I expected it to be something a bit bigger. That's not a peppermint. See the smoke behind it? That's a copy of some poor peppermint. The dark spirit made from my soul. <clears throat> Most of bombies won't fight to kill anymore, but that thing won't hesitate. If you knock it unconscious, though, it soul should be put back to rest. All right, I'll give it a shot. No idea how to battle, though. Oh no, I skipped it. <laughs> All right. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Let's use good old poke on him. Let's view our stats. <clears throat> what are we weak to? Ah, oh, there it is in the bottom right. So, we're neutral when it comes to ice. And we're strong against fire, earth, and lightning. And weak to air, water, and grass, I think? Oh, no. I clicked the wrong button to back out. I gotta get used to that. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, my sense really works. You are natural. I'm honored to have fought for you. Oh, I keep skipping it. <laughs> Better be a little bit less quick happy. All right, can I just type it? Yep. All right, Salty. Um, don't know if you're watching this or not, but one of my subscribers and friends is named Salty. His nickname is Salty, and he loves earth types and mountains and stuff, so I figured this would be fair to name the starter after him. <clears throat> Apolite clans form based around the mountain they were born on. If it dies defending its territory, its body turns back into stone, making its home mountain larger. Ooh, I like that. I like this little lore here. Salty, if Apolite join your party. It's salty. And by the way, anybody, <clears throat> you can comment and ask to be named in future episodes as well. Obviously, I can't go back in time and <laughs> name you now, but any future episodes, I'll probably be recording two episodes in this sitting, so it might be episode three if I get your names in there, but still, you're welcome to comment them. It's a pleasure to meet you, Salty. Thank you for your service. Nice job, Salty. 
Why just salty though? Sorry guys, someone told me the salty was the right one to protect me. It's a dangerous task. I don't want to ask more bombings than necessary. I saw salty and knew that he'd be able to do it. I don't think I get to choose to fight too many. I think Salty already had the life inside him. Can't you remember how all this works from when you did a hundred years ago? <clears throat> I'm sorry for meaning to be confusing. I don't remember anything about my past life. I just know there's no light spirits and dark spirits. I don't know where it comes from. So you're the same light spirit that fought for the abomination a century ago, or are you a new one every time? I don't know that. I just kind of have instincts. Instincts like... Oh no. Look at him. He's gorgeous. I love him. Light spirit. You're smaller than I expected. But you want to stay away from me. You know I want to step aside, you little bombing punks. No. My job is to... If my job is to protect... I told... I told you... IT? I'm, I'm gonna get it right eventually, hopefully. I'll do it with my life. Me too. And me. Guys, no. Salty, we have to get out of here now. Alright, if you're so eager to die. I love the design of that thing. Salty, touch the statue and take a deep breath. The statue? Just touch it. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> Where are we? I don't know. You young Apolite, have you been touched by the light or corrupted by the darkness? Light, we're both light. What do you know about all this? Fursy Fume, the dark spirit, did you see him? He was right behind us, a bunch of smoke when we fled to the statue. Hey, what gives? That was my statue. Anything touched by either light or darkness, we can can use Abomination's ancient statues. Just as you use the statue to teleport so can the dark spirit or anything under his control. It's a blessing he didn't come through before I destroyed it. Sir Sickle and, and Goat and me, they probably held him off for just long enough. Felt the I'm sorry. I didn't want any of this to happen. It's not the choice of the light spirit who will live and who will die. You should do, do our best to protect yourself and the whole abomination. Excuse me, bearded stranger, but who are you exactly? I apologize. You must have many questions. Rambrush, I've lived the top of this mouth many generations, waiting for the day the light spirit would show herself. These statues leap directly to sites of pivotal in light spirit success. This one links to a Uri Aiken. That must have been that must have been recently. Yep, I'm about thirty minutes old. It's true what they say, getting old is hard. I wish I could be sixteen minutes old again. You're very young, but very wise. Every hundred years a new light spirit is born or attains the intuition of light spirits of years past. Still you're at a supreme disadvantage. First Foom is cunning and will take Control over any and all the suits of all souls you can find. You mean mom must fight only those you need powerful enough to be defenders of the light. Only these abomies can actually free the souls of the victims. So I really am a defender of the light. There are many like you across the abomination. You must find as many fighters as you can and combat the darkness. But I don't know much about fighting. Me either, actually. I just remember how to be a light spirit, kind of. Don't worry. My purpose on this mountain is to pass my knowledge on to the light spirit. I just discovered new abomies and techniques. You shall know as much information about them as my ancestors were able to collect. Now again, the knowledge of abomination, you must enter my beard. Coming in. Come now, don't be worried about don't be worried about it. My beard holds all my knowledge. And I can pass it on to you if you engulf yourself. It won't hurt. Salty, is this a normal thing? No, but now I want to see what will happen if you do it. The glorious beard of knowledge. How do you feel? I see type effect and I seem to have attack boost. I see so much math. Use it to make informed decisions in battling. Remember, a lot of lives depend on you raising a powerful team not to dispute the dark spirit. Thank you for this round brush. We'll do our best. Are you ready, Salty? Informed team, maybe we should come up with a name for ourselves. Um, how about uh, Defenders of Light? I'm going to name it after my Kindred Fates Guild. Um, I. You got it in the Discord. This is what my Kindred Fates Guild is going to be named. It's also my guild in basically every game I ever play. But if you want to join that, you can join the Discord down below in the description with all the other links. Let's hope, yeah, I can get behind that. 
Ooh, we get to pick a symbol. This first move is like wand. I like to hope I feel a special bond with you, Slothy. Oh, I have an idea. Ta-da, now we're a match. Wow, that's amazing. Supposed to give you offering back to the statue. We thought the the this hot calls tablet would help in the fight against darkness. That's nice, Slothy. Good thing you kept it. Could be useful for battles. Good idea. Let's go find some new members. Dun 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 dun. All right, here we go, I think. You're the light spirit, I'll be taking that, thanks. <clears throat> All right. Dun, 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 dun. Just going around slapping. I don't know, I'm weak to air. They're strong against me. Hey, hold on. What's this? I don't have an item. I guess they don't actually have an air attack. At least they don't have one that they used anyways. Mana banana, dude. Oh, hey, hello. Oh, my fighting was just for training. Dun, 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 dun. So, is this going to give me XP, I guess? Oh good, a new town. Let's take an opportunity to rest up. Cool. Got a nice little bonfire. Let's go, I'm a giant mountain anyways, I'm probably not fast. That's health, mana. I'm gonna save the money for now. Not really sure what I need yet. So I'm getting a feeling again there's someone here that we can help our team. I'll point them out to you. Where is this? Alright. 
I guess it's the person that can help our team. Hey, leave him alone. Mind your own business, punk. Help me, I don't want to lose my body. Don't worry, we'll help you. You don't back off our clobber, you too. Um, I think... Yeah, lightning does bad against us, like electric types, or... Lightning types, yeah. They do... They're bad. Yeah, they're bad against us, so... We're actually gonna get to see our, um... Rumble in action now. Holy crap, 30 damage. Yeah, come on, join. Um, it's unfortunate bomb is always born with an oversized antenna on its head. Although, Foul Lore possesses the ability to fly its antenna, and it's aerodynamic. Its antenna is not aerodynamic at all. If we're to take off too quickly, the wind will put you in some break its neck. So, hmm. I'm not really sure of anybody that reminds me of right now, but we'll just, um, just keep them in, just hanging out. Wait, can I just... Is that alright? Or is that going to cost me... That cost me a return. Dun, 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 dun. You will stay the leader for now, so we can actually help you get leveled up. Ooh, what's that? Um, I can't remember how to check my inventory. I have no idea how to check inventory. <laughs> We should be fine, right? Yeah, this gonna smack me, so. Done. Squeaky shield. All right, now I feel like I really need to find out how to check my inventory. I will pause this real quick so I can actually find out how because I completely forgot. Alright, I found it out. It was enter. <laughs> um, what's the options? This just changes the volume and everything like that. Let's save and quit. Items. So that just gives us both held items. Reduces damage from lightning attacks. I mean, you're already stronger against it, so it'll make you, like, even stronger. Can we give it to you? Can we not give it to you? Oh, I is give. Dun, dun. Teaches scratch opponents with flame and claws. Oh, that's like a, um, it's the thing that lets you learn about stuff. Let you learn moves, I mean. It's a story item. Alright. We can get back to the game now. I think this is the time to switch. 
right? You're good against fire and lightning, yeah. So I think it would be nice to switch to you. Oops. Just do like 66 damage, you know, no problem. <laughs> Also, while I was clicking everything, I found out if you click T, you do that, and like hear the noise they make. How do you like the team so far? I'm feeling great. I'm excited to meet all of you. We're happy to have you here. Just make sure you don't get careless. There's still a lot line for us. All right, let's keep going. I'll see you try then. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to take like 500 damage. And it's not going to end the way you think it will. I feel invalidated in my choice of picking the Earth Spirit. Hey, that thing is the thing I actually got named after in the um, Discord. Like when you first join the Discord, you get a you get named um, just randomly by the bot, and that's the line. I got named after. Oh dang, I didn't see you here. that do? Ooh. Ooh. That's some interesting items. Permanently buffing them. Permanently changed the whole base attack of water. Very interesting. I really like that, but I'm not going to use it yet because I'm not really ready to commit 100% to um, a particular type like that. But I do really like that that's an option though. Where's this thing? I mean, it looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. I really want a Moa team. <laughs> but, uh,. You are good to go against those grass types, so plant type. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, come on. Nope, nothing. We're just carving a brutal path through. Wait, there's another one of these little things.
Oh, here we go. I think that other one's the one I've already beaten. The main reason I didn't change something to water yet is because I'm not really ready to commit. Like, I want to have a neutral type attack that is going to be just generally good. See you hiding in the grass there. Mm -hmm. All right, I think this will do it for this episode. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful time. And remember, links in the description to join, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my Twitch, all that good stuff. Um, and I will say that I am greatly enjoying this game just as much as I thought I would. And I'm going to be going right into recording episode two. So, like I said, if you have any names, leave them. I'll try to get to them right episode three. This has been Marston Bluba signing off, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.